What's up guys, Will here, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. In the last episode we went through more of the areas with the uh, bonus characters, and this episode I think we'll probably be finishing it off. So yeah, anyways, as always I'm going to be finding us a character we're going to be doing to tackle Dark Felicia. So just give me one quick second here. Alright, I have found myself a character, and I'm thinking, this is this doesn't really fit for this area. This guy doesn't really fit in, but, eh, I would dead want to show him off, so, I guess it makes sense. We did Chopa for normal Felucia, so we're doing good old Cleef for dark Felucia. So, yeah. Anyways, well, we're going to have to do a required required uh, fight here with these militia, not with the militia troops, but with the Imperial Stormtroopers. Just freaking electrocute them all, and yep. All dead. That was super quick. Look how much freaking experience I'm getting here. Oh my god. It's crazy. Am I getting more experience with God Mode on? Because like, I feel like that's the case here. Like, there's no way I should be getting this much experience, right? But, eh. Apparently I am. I'm not complaining. Oh boy. Well, you guys aren't a threat at all. Do they normally do that? Huh. Weird. Well, don't gotta worry about the cutscenes. Don't gotta worry about these guys either, because I think the Felucian Warriors will just take care of them, honestly. Open fire. Yeah, either they'll be fighting them, or they'll... Well, they will be fighting them. Stupid probe droid. Good lord. Yeah, those things are definitely killing off the troopers, which is hilarious. Not that it matters. Literally, I'm just running by these troopers, freaking unharmed. Granted, I'm not harming them yet. They're trying to all of their best to freaking kill me, but they can't. They just can't. Anyways, back the way we came. So that was so that was a great use of time. Wonder if we're gonna be running into more of the pollution warriors here. Or did the Imperial Troopers just kill them all? Which, I could see that happening. So yeah, let's see here. Oh, yep, yep, they're still fighting over here. That's funny. That's actually hilarious. That they're actually... Man, we brought off, up so many of these guys. That's crazy. I kind of want to just see them fight more, but honestly, I kind of want to get through this game as quick as possible. And we're going to be fighting the Bull Rankler here. Curious. Oh my god. This guy's not going to do anything. Actually, before he does that, I kind of want, to, I kind of want him to do his... Oh. Like I said, I kind of wanted him to do his charger attack to see if it, that would do anything, but apparently... Come on, I just want him to do his charge attack. Come on. Just do your charge attack, please. I want to see if that will hurt me. Come on. Are you just not going to do it? Oh my god. Yeah. He's just not doing it for whatever reason. Okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just start running. See. Yeah. Let me just start running. Maybe he'll do it then. Okay. Is he going to hurt? Is this going to knock me back? No. But it will. He will just do this again. So this is like the third time we've done this. I don't think we've even done this. Saw this once in the main playthrough. So yeah. It's just funny just seeing Cleef just get eaten by a Rancor, not gonna lie. Anyways. <laughs> he 
He can't do anything. Can I not just kill him normally? Okay. I guess I have to do a finishing move on him. Huh. Okay. Yep, I, I have to do a finishing move on the bull rancor. Okay. I thought I could kill this guy just without doing that, but I guess not. I guess the bull rancor and the the uh, jump titan are the only ones that you have to do this on. Alright. Anyways. And there we go. Oh wow. That that looks cool, not gonna lie. Alright, anyways, back the way we came. Kind of, except we're gonna be going farther. And we're gonna be fighting the boss of the area. Good old Maris Brood. That's oh my lord. Man, it is almost midnight right now. Good lord. I'm gonna be tired. I got work tomorrow, although it's not until four, so I'm not really worried about that. Whoa, don't you be dodging my saber throws. And there we go. Two, three. My lord. Good lord. One, two, three. Man, you suck at defending these. Good lord, Maris. This is crazy. There we go. Okay. Well, that was easy. That was probably the easiest boss fight we ever done during this whole run. Okay. Coming up next, we are going to be having Imperial Imperialized Raxus. So, as always, let me find a character and we'll hop right into it. All right, I have found ourselves a character, and for anyone who has played the Xbox 360 version of this game, this character will ver will make a lot of sense for this area because he is actually the boss of this area. Surprisingly. Good old Proxy here, and he's actually glowing. Yeah, he's actually still glowing. That's actually kind of a cool effect on him. Not gonna lie. And it doesn't really do anything, not really, but it's just kind of a glowing outline, just, oh my god. Jesus Christ, that was the weirdest camera I've ever seen, bro. And freaking Stormtrooper died, good, good job. And good luck, Jawas. Good luck defending this. I freaking I freaking love the Jawa scream. They're, it's so hilarious. Okay, just avoid that. And they tried going after me. Here we just gotta kill as many Imperial Troopers as possible. Fortunately, we can't just bypass this area and go right to the ATST fight. I wish we could, but sadly we cannot. If only we're that easy. Alright, well. I think we only need like one or two more to go, and we'll be done. And yep, we're all done here. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can try shooting at me all you want. It's not going to do anything. And, yep, right to the ATSC fight. Which I kind of want to test something here. Um, where is it? Right over here. Uh, 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get up there. What if, though? Is that will deactivate that one. So now can I get up there? Yes, I can. So what, so what happens if I go up here? Can the ATST still find me? Oh, Jesus. Can I even get up there? Um, yeah, yeah, there is a, oh my god, can you, can you stop? You're very distracting. There we go. Now what are you gonna do? Can he, can it see me? I don't think it can. I don't think this guy can see me. That's kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. <laughs> He's stuck in there. That's funny. Alright, let's just saber throw this thing. Okay. I, I wanted to test that. I wanted to see what happened, but he just gets stuck. Alright, anyways, on to the very long part of Rax's Prime. Which I'm not really looking forward to. Oh my god. Okay, well. Anyways... I don't really... Lava's not gonna kill... Oh, I still take damage from the lava? Oh, shit. Okay, I did not know that. So I can still die, even though... The lava won't... Even though I have God Mode on. That's... Interesting. Because it's not like it's off, because these guys, they're... Doing damage to me. See? Doing... They're doing damage to me, except... I'm not just... I'm, they're trying to attack me, I should say, but they're not doing any damage. That, that's what I'm trying to say here. But that's kind of surprising. The lava can still kill me. I thought I could just stand in that thing all day, every day. Just not take any damage, but nope. No, I cannot. Honestly, it's whatever. Okay, well. Blast that down. This will take no time at all okay so what I think I was trying to do the, during my playthrough yeah doing that yeah it gets rid of them super easily with maelstrom all right <clears throat> next area got some more lava that I can apparently die to I sadly cannot jump that, but I can jump over the railing. <sighs> Love how much, how many troops are gonna be following me. This is hilarious. Not gonna lie. Wonder if the game's gonna have any problems trying to load anything because of how fast I'm just buzzing through this. Okay. Well. Did Maelstrom again. That doesn't... I don't think that does anything to me, so... Doesn't matter. It's one way to de deactivate it, I guess. I wonder if the game can just start lagging with how many enemies is on screen. I, I doubt that could happen, but... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know. Never know with this game. This guy's literally just appeared. Isn't there supposed to be three of them though? Apparently not. Alright, well, here comes the last of the force field generators. Guy is missing here. I guess enemies will just despawn if there's not if there's too many on screen. That's funny. Start off with scorcher. See if I can lightsaber throw. Nope. All right, we'll just come on. 
Come on. Thank you. Just trying to freaking saber throw him. Wait to oh. Scorch him. He's doing nothing. Oh my god. Good lord. Alright. Hopefully we can kill this guy relatively quickly. Alright. She is taking some damage. Okay, come on, one more hit. Come on, just kill the bastard, please. Push him back a little bit. There we go. Got him. Thank God. Ugh. Man, that was like three cutscenes at once. Good Lord. Ugh. Man, I am tired as hell right now. Yep, there is another one. All right, we got two more areas to go, which I think I'll try to squeeze into this video here. We got ourselves Cloud City and the Death Star. So, we will be hopping to Cloud City. Just give me one second while I find a character. But I think you guys know which character I'm doing, if you guys have seen the cheat code episode. All right. Shows the character off to Cloud City. Let's do this thing. My lord, am I tired right now? Oh boy. All right. Any time now. There we go. And we are Lando Cal Calrissian, which honestly couldn't think of a better character than him to go for, go through Cloud City with. So yeah. Well, good luck to all the civilians here. Well, not civilians, but I guess the uh, Cloud City uh, men, guards, whatever you'd call them. Alright, well, and, oh, this guy cannot do anything, even if he charges at me, he's not doing anything to me, don't gotta worry about him whatsoever, I love that, it's awesome that you don't have to worry about the enemies here, you just go through it, all of them with relative ease, And yeah. <laughs> That's some good physics. Amazing physics. Anyways. Going through here. Because it's funny, they try to charge at you, but they just can't knock you back. Which is amazing. Alright, well, we have to kill some people here. Alright. Can I just completely electrocute this thing and maybe... No. I was hoping... I hoping maybe freaking electrocute it. Maybe destroy it. Oh, that's not possible. How are you floating? What the fuck? Okay. That was weird. Nice, just right into the explosion. Alright. 
another one of these areas with all of these thugs. Good lord. Can I? I think I can one shot these. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I can't one shot these guys with a saber throw. Kind of hoping I would be able to. Not gonna lie. Kind of hoping to destroy that shit too. And unfortunately, you don't see the ship crashing now. Whatever, doesn't matter. And we're already at 20 minutes. Jeez, I might, I might have to save the Death Star for uh, final area for another video. Good lord. I might. Well, if that's the case, I'll probably just do the cutscene before the Death Star with the, the Stalker armor again. Which I think I could just electrocute these guys to death. It's funny we have to deal with this guy. He just got hit by a bomb, that's funny. Okay. He's still here, oh my god. <laughs> it's just funny how many times he's getting just shot at with freaking missile or rocket, whatever you'd call it. No, I didn't test. Can I one shot these guys with saber throw? No. But I can two shot them, which that's good enough, honestly. Alright, and now we just gotta wait for the bridge, which I think is over here. There we go. Nope, you're not hitting me with that. Not hitting me with any of this. Not happening, mate. Not happening at all. Oh boy. It's like these guys are still here, which is crazy. The original enemy, the original men that were fighting here, I think were still there, fighting, which is hilarious. Actually, no, I think it was the original enemies that were there. But, yeah, then change. Because I think there was a new, new uh, group of people, but uh, I don't know. Oh, freaking no. I really don't know. And here comes enemies. Okay. Nice. Okay. Eventually he'll die. Should've just saber throw, I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy, this cleave fight's gonna be interesting. I could probably just freaking two-shot this guy with a freaking saber throw. Well, first things first. What about... Oh, that's two-shot. Alright, now how about cleave? Oh, yep, two-shot. Can't say I'm surprised. At all, honestly. Alright. And just go into the thing, because it doesn't matter. And just go down here. Avoid every single one of these enemies. Because they don't matter whatsoever. And that thing died. Unfortunate for that shuttle. It's funny. They just can't do anything. None of these guys can. And 
and we're almost at the boss. Which I wonder how the boss is gonna go, honestly. Probably pretty easy if I were to guess. Okay, I'm curious how the basilisk is gonna work. Alright, well. Where's the Mandalorian? There you are. There's one. Hit. You need to get get back here. Thank you. Yeah, because I can't do anything to Chopla, unfortunately. One and two. Alright. Basil Basilisk time. Alright, this shouldn't take long at all. So you can't do anything to me, which is hilarious. Which, uh, yeah, just do it now. So I think this is the third Titan boss that we have to do a fishing move on. Anything else, though? Yeah, I guess it makes sense, because it is d definitely a unique Titan boss. It's not like an ATST or a Rancor or a Junk Behemoth where you fight multiple of. This one actually makes sense. Okay, Chopa, you need to die. Okay, I'm just gonna. Can I just constantly throw this at you? Alright, cool. Nice. Yeah, he, this is just hilarious how freaking helpless he is. That's just funny. How quick that is. Oh my god. Alright, cool. We are at 27 minutes. We got one more area to go, so I'm probably just going to do that in the next episode. But anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed this episode of Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Tune in uh, next time where we tackle the Death Star. After we do Corellia, of course. See